Kala Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakadash, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shah Mashiach, Rakata Yashra, Rakata Yahoda, Kala, Kala, Shalom, Shalom, Halawaya, Halawaya, Double Honesty, the Apostle Nellis, Gary Millstone, Pushing and Teaching His Truth and Sincerity, and Overseeing the Construction of the Tabernacle of David, More Perfect Tabernacle, Shalom to the Aki and Wild Brothers, and Scattered Bride, Shalom to the Believers, this is Yahweh Shah, Banyashra, Banyahoda, Come to you live through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to give you another quick lesson. Um, I guess I'm just gonna start right here. <clears throat> this is Psalm chapter twenty, verse seven. Um, this is well, I'm sorry, six. Now know I that Yahweh saveth his anointed; he will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we remember the name of Yahweh, our power. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says they are brought down and fallen. But we are risen and stand upright. Save Yahweh. Let the king hear us when we call. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to um, bring that scripture out for just for like comfort's sake and just as a starting point because as um we continue to prophesy, you know, the Akiyam, the men of the Lord, continue to prophesy um the great, you know, misfortunes and great events that are finna come into play in America, starting with the, you know, the whole Crown Vic nineteen, going to the Max scenes, the jab, going um Probably um further down into the year, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, mass mass jabs, mass vaccinations, you know what I'm saying? You know, people getting put in the FEMA camps, you know, famines, um, you know, civil unrest, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of things that are spoken about. In, um, not only Matthew chapter 24, but I believe um Second Ezra. Second Ezra's fifteen. It says in Second Ezra chapter seven, um, so like in Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse seven. Um, therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive them unto me, all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them uh, bring them with a mighty hand, and a stretched out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy the land therefore. You know what I'm saying? That's what's happening now. Um, most high God whose name is Yahweh by Shem Mashiach Yahweh in the name of his son he's he bringing a, a whole bunch of plagues on this place you know what I'm saying starting with you know st the snowstorm in Texas starting with the whole Crown Vic 19 thing starting with the um, with the 5G towers you know what I'm saying starting with all these things that are uh, these um, earthquakes these natural disasters you know what I'm saying I think um, I don't know I forgot it might have been like some South American country, you know, they just got hit with an earthquake, you know what I'm saying? And it's a, it's a lot of stuff going on because, you know what I'm saying, um, 2nd Ezra 9 and 2 says, um, Then shalt thou understand that is the, um, that is, it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And it, like it says on, um, in 7, You know, it says in um, 2nd Ezra 9 verse 6 even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works you know what I'm saying was this is we're entering in the, in the beginning stages of, of, of like straight up and down hell you know what I'm saying um,
Yeah. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, Therefore saith the Lord, uh, Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, and ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Um, let me start for context. Verse um, Isaiah 65 and 11. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose not where I delighted. You know what I'm saying? That's, and that's what um, I could, I'm going to go ahead and go to Ezekiel, because that's a very important, that's a very important point that Isaiah just made. Ezekiel 3 and um, 18. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak to nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I cry thy hand thy hand. You know what I'm saying? Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wicked ways, nor from his wicked way he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. And this, like it says um, in 66, it says, um, therefore, uh, Isaiah 65 and 12, therefore I, will I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow to it now to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that where I delighted I delight not. And that's why, you know, it's important for us, as Akin, we always coming out here, we making videos, we going out to the cheap place of concourse, trying to tell people, and trying to put people on game. You know what I'm saying about what's to go down, but people don't want to hear. People don't want to hear, it and they don't want to listen. So because, and it's not you're not refusing us. You're you're refusing the Most High God, Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's it's nothing to do with us. We don't take it personally, but you're 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 refusing the Most High God when you don't accept this warning because it's, it's coming from Him. In every every situation in the Bible, in, in all old days before. Uh, the Most High God, Yahweh, destroyed that place or moved on that place. He sent His prophets to warn those people. And when they didn't listen, he went ahead and did what they, he he went ahead and did what they did. You know what I'm saying? And and just like he said, we're coming into a time now that's never been like another time on earth. Talking about just 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 the just the just what's gonna unfold and what's gonna happen is not gonna be something we've ever seen before or ever dealt with. And like like I said in my last video, just look at Texas. Look what's going on in Texas. If this can go on in Texas, imagine. How it's gonna, imagine what it's going to be like when it hits the whole world, the whole United States. But going back to Isaiah 65 and 13, you know what I'm saying? That's why I started with Psalms, Psalms 20 and 7, you know what I'm saying? Going back to it, that's why I started in Psalms 20 and 7. It says, um, Psalms 20 and 6. Now know I that Yahweh will save his anointed. You know what I'm saying? His anointed. He will hear from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we remember the name of Yahweh our God. And that's that's important because the name has power in it. The name has power in it. You can't just be in these times calling on Jesus the Christ and calling on God ain't going to save you. We got to have the names. The true names. Yahweh, Bashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. Like it says, we remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. You know what I'm saying? Because we, and it says this in 9, save Lord, let the king hear us when we call. You know what I'm saying? Because we uh, we have the true names of the Heavenly Father and, his, and the Son. And it says some trust in chariots and some in horses. That's what's going to happen. Some In in those days, people are going to be trusting in the, um, their gun. People are going to be trusting in, you know what I'm saying, uh, the government, people gonna be trusting all these other things, but the true, the true anointed, we gonna be trusting in the name of the Most High God, Yahweh, and we, and ultimately we're gonna be saved. And it says, um, in Isaiah sixty-five and thirteen, therefore I say, if the Lord God, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry; behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty; behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You know what I'm saying? 
we in that time we're gonna be preserved. We're gonna be preserved from all these calamities and all these things, all these plagues and stuff that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Just, just in, in my personal life, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't been sick this whole year. You know what I'm saying? The water to the Most High God. I ain't been sick this whole year. I ain't, I ain't caught no COVID. I don't even know. I don't even really know anybody that got caught COVID. And that's important. It says, "Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry, cry for sore of heart, and ye shall howl for vexation of spirit." And ye shall leave your name for a cur curse unto my chosen, for the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. Like it says, um, is this, it might be, uh, 16. Yeah, okay. Okay, bet. Um, this is a uh, second Ezra chapter thirteen, verse um twenty nine. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth, and no one shall undertake to fight against another one city, and one shall undertake to fight against another one city against another one place against another one piece one people against another and one realm against another, and the time shall um. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the sign shall happen when I shall do it before, and then shall my son be declared whom thou sayest, so I says a man is sinning. And when all the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land lead the battle they have one against another, and an innumerable, and an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together, as I saw as them willing to come, and to go overcome him by fighting. But he shall sign up the top of Mount Zion, and as I shall come, it shall be showed to all men, being prepared and built it, like all that saw his heel game with fiery hands. And this my son shall rebuke the wicked and vicious of the nation, for which the wicked life will fall into the temptations. temptations. And it says, um, 39, And whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceful multitude unto him, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea the king, whom Salamassar the king of Syria led away captive and carried them over the waters, and they came into another land. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the wrong verse. Um, let's see.
slug in. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's lucky I couldn't get a verse, but I'm just gonna go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse um, 1. It says, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him and made no count of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond that they look for you know what I'm saying cause they're not they're not expecting a lot of people not expecting not only what, what's gonna happen they're gonna get, get, get locked uh, slugging, get caught lacking by that but they're gonna get caught lacking by all the people the true men of God getting saved you know what I'm saying people are gonna be wondering how um we can hold our peace in, 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 in these, these terrible times they're gonna be wondering when they see us being, getting um delivered by by Shemar Shai, they gon' they gonna be like, why them and why not us? You know what I'm saying? Especially all these Christians. You know what I'm saying? It, and it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be it's gonna be very strange in these times when you see the true men of the Lord walking in peace. Like it says, he says, "Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart." It says, "But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart," and that's that's uh, that's gonna be a lot of people except the the true men of the Lord, the Akim, while Bafim, or the Most High God. But show me my shaky you know what I'm saying? Um, but at the end said, I'm just say shallow one.